To make a valve portrait, you will need Source Filmmaker, Photoshop, and actual patience. I highly suggest you use a drawing tablet to do this, but I guess you don't have to. Okay, first of all, make sure you have a reference poster of what you're going to make. Load SFM into Void. Now take your character and try to match the exact pose and camera angle. Don't worry too much about the camera because you're just going to crop it later. Then try your best to mimic the same lighting. If you notice in the valve posters, all of their shadows are extremely sharp, so play with the shadow settings to make it as sharp as you can. Honestly, the lighting doesn't matter too much. It's just easier to use as a reference later. When you're done, spawn a green screen behind your model. Then, since we don't want bloom in our poster, export it as a poster. I use 4K. Now in Photoshop, look for every difference between your poster and the Valve poster. You should notice two big factors. One, some of the body parts might be slightly not the same shape or angle. And two, the lighting is completely not the same. Now when I said patience, I meant it. But before that, let's take our magic wand and take out the green screen. Then, take the original file and take out the background. Take the healing brush and fill in where the original scout used to be. So now we have the background. Then go back to the scout and use the liquify tool to fix as much as you can, being very careful not to mess up. I recommend making duplicate layers so you can always come back later if you make a mistake. Then when you're done with that, it's time to fix some of the solid details. In this case, it's the eyes not being far enough to the side. So select the eyes and duplicate them to another layer. Then, using the selection on the SFM render, use the healing brush to remove the pupil as much as possible. But here's when we introduce paint overs. Take your eyedropper and select what color you would think would be there. And then cover it where it is and then do the same for every other spot. And white out the whole eye and smudge it to mix. Be careful not to make it look like it's smudged or you'll lose the valve look. Just make sure you mix it. I find that going up and down and then going left to right usually gets the right results. Then, move your eyes to where you want them to go, and then erase the parts where the lids would cover. And that's it. Now for the hard part. To make it less messy, select the background of the scout, then select its inverse by right clicking. Make a new layer and take each different shade of your reference with the eyedropper tool and brush it where it is to your equivalent. What should be happening is you're making a lot of brush strokes throughout the entire piece, covering pretty much everything with different shades of brushes. Take your time shadowing as well, and then use the smudge tool to slowly mix the colors all together. Carefully, or you will easily be able to tell color mixing was involved. Do this for the rest of the skin. Make sure you're looking back and forth with your reference. You should notice that you're not mixing it completely, so when you feel like you did the best you could, Go ahead and merge your painted skin onto your poster. Now when you mix it, it should mix in with your actual poster. And then you can fine tune it. Now on separate layers, you should pretty much do this for the rest of the entire poster. Unless you think your cosmetics look fine as it is. Just remember that Val's portraits have sharp shadows and lighting, no in-betweens. If you notice, for instance, that there is a glares of light on the nose or dog chain, you can take a weak light brush and in the area use a blur to spread it accordingly. Then take the opacity and dip it until you see the same results. Now you can merge your poster into the background, then crop it to match the exact angles. Put a white background, Control T holding the shift, scale it down, move it to the same area as it is in your reference. Then I like to get a warm sepia like color. Fill the screen with the paint bucket and dip its opacity so it's barely noticeable. I like to do this because I feel like it brings the atmosphere all together, even if it's only on 12%. Then merge all that again, open a new layer, and take a brush with one sizing, then copy the old timey feels with scratches and little pieces of white. It may look better or worse when dipping the opacity. I think that's up to you though. Then when done with that as well, go ahead and merge. Go to filters, noise, add noise. Don't put too much or it'll lose its look. But just enough to simulate the amount of grain in the original valve poster. 
and you're done. I realized that this tutorial may not be easy to follow for people who are new to Photoshop, but maybe you guys can at least take a little bit of knowledge off from this. Also, thanks for 800 subs. 1,000's coming up, and I'm probably gonna do something big about that, but we'll get there when we get there. Hopefully, it'll happen somewhat soon, because I'm pretty excited for that. Anyway, hope you guys learned something. See you later.